Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, let me first uh, commend Ranking Member Raul Grijalva for fighting the good fight uh, every day. I rise to oppose the Polluters Over People Act. It's an extreme MAGA Republican bill that will increase pollution by lowering environmental standards. It will increase climate change by removing a lot of provisions of the Inflation Reduction Act designed to combat climate change, and it increases the de deficit. According to the Congressional Budget Office, it will increase the deficit by over $2.4 million, just as one bill alone. So it's like a triple threat of badness, right? It increases pollution, increases global warming, increases the deficit. Now let's just take a review of what we've done up to now. So last term, when Democrats were in control, we passed laws that moved the American family forward. We passed the American Rescue Plan that got our economy back on track as we were coming out of a pandemic. We then followed that up with the infrastructure law to rebuild roads and bridges and highways, to take lead out of water pipes, and to put broadband everywhere from rural areas to inner cities and everywhere in between. We then followed that up with the Chips and Science Act that's gonna bring manufacturing back to the United States. And then we followed that up with the Inflation Reduction Act which not only helped reduce the deficit, Democrats reduced the deficit by over $1.7 trillion last year, but that Inflation Reduction Act also had the highest number of climate change projects and the highest amount of climate change funding in world history. This term, when Republicans took control, what did you all do? Well, let me tell you. You read the Constitution on the House floor, and we took turns doing that. You also held not one, but two congressional hearings complaining about Twitter. But it's more than just stupid stuff. Extreme MAGA Republicans are now passing, or trying to pass extreme MAGA Republican bills like HR1, that's going to again, increase climate change, increase pollution, and increase the deficit. And it's also a monumental waste of time because guess what? This bill ain't going anywhere. It's not going to pass the Senate because you need to override a filibuster. That ain't going to happen. Even if it miraculously does that, miraculously does that, the president, uh, his administration has already signaled that they're going to veto it. So we're just wasting time here when we should be focused on more relevant issues like how do we prevent gun violence at schools? And my heart goes out to the victims of the tragic mass shooting yesterday in Nashville. Three of the victims were nine-year-old children. So recently, a member of the Republican caucus was asked, a member from Tennessee, what we're gonna do to fix school violence. And his answer was, we're not gonna fix it. Well, Democrats have a different view. Instead of wasting time on political stunts, like HR1, let's pass universal background checks into law. I yield back. 